Saturday afternoon, May 14th, 1892, John and Charles Ruggles held up and robbed the stage after its departure from Shasta. Aboard was a large shipment of gold in the care of Wells Fargo messenger Buck Montgomery. You throw down that box now. <laughs> Charlie. Whoa, whoa. That's the gun. That's the pistol that was used to shoot Buck Montgomery by John Ruggles. This is the axe. That's John Ruggles' axe? <laughs> the Ruggles brothers used these. Gunfire erupts and the horses just bolt. He takes an axe and he splits open the box and gathers the stuff that's in it. He basically tells Charlie, you're done for. Hasta la vista. You so know? he knows Charlie's still okay. alive, but he, but the wound looks so bad, yeah. there's no way he's going to make it. It was kind of hard, and his brother Charlie didn't like it either. It was just hard work and blisters and calluses and aches and pains, and they thought there had to be a better way. Right after they robbed... To one of the restaurants there, about 9.30 at night, so no one would recognize him. Wouldn't you know it, someone did recognize him. I know who you are. Put your hands up. Where'd you hide the gold, Ruggles? Where'd you hide it? Was there any money found on John when he was arrested? Some of the gold coin. Some of the gold coin was uh -huh. there, but... You know, normally people, they rob a stage. Maybe there's a murder, they get their day in court. That didn't happen here. These people lost their minds. I heard that... His brother. Spare his life. I'll tell you where the gold is. You can tell us if you want, but you ain't escaping judgment. Neither of you. Hoist them. This isn't just about justice. This isn't just about treasure. This isn't about criminals. This is really the complex story of how communities of the West in early America learned to live in this area. His life is in imminent danger. And now we're dealing with a person that is running for their life. And what does that mean to where he's gonna drop the loot? 